still in Adelaide. Um, I didn't do anything much on my story yesterday because I was pretty tied up and focused on supporting people in the workshop that I ran with Aaron from Order Taker to Performance Partner. I couldn't get a flight all the way back to the Gold Coast last night so I um, had to stay overnight and I've got to run a webinar for the social and collaborative learning course that I'm facilitating at midday so I'll fly back after the webinar. So where are we with this social and collaborative learning course? We're in week six. So we've looked at a number of different approaches or elements to social learning and then we're now starting to look at putting them together in an organisational learning strategy. So today's webinar was supposed to be predominantly about working out louder communities of practice, but I went to the group because they're a relatively small group and we can have discussion rather than it all being presenting on the webinar. So I said to them, what do you most want to talk about today? And what I got back was more strategic about getting people involved in social learning, getting people to see beyond training and rethink what learning looks like, as well as repositioning or branding, um, moving away from being the e-learning girl. I've pulled together some models and ideas, starting with some stuff you can do at a tactical level, so a solution by solution level, as well as thinking through stakeholder engagement and strategies to influence and shift the way people see you and work with you over the longer term. I'm also going to share a case study from my own um, background, my time at Coca-Cola Amateur, about being strategic with social learning. And then three of the participants have submitted something specific that they're working on for us to discuss around how they can drive engagement um, and generate value. More importantly than engagement adoption, it's how do you generate value with whatever approach with whatever approach to learning you're using. It's independent of whether it's social learning, it's having an impact on performance and generating value for your um, partners within the business um, on results that matter to them. I was really heartened that I was able to quickly go to a whole stack of different presentations and resources, um, most of it my stuff, and pull it together um, quickly in order to provide a basis for today's webinar. Adelaide has an interesting mix of older and newer style buildings. This is an example of an older style building. I'll shoot a few uh, pictures on the way to the airport. No, I'm just uh, taking a few shots of the buildings. There's such interesting buildings in Adelaide. Like some of them are really beautiful old um, architecture. And this is some sort of research centre, yeah, this, this building. Is Biggest cancer research institute. Cancer research, the cheese grater. Easy to see why they call it that. So if you're in Europe and have just watched those uh, few shots of some buildings, you're probably thinking they are not old buildings. But you've got to remember, Australia's only a little over 200 years old. So for us, some of those buildings are older buildings. I've always loved watching the shadows of trees in the breeze. I had a um, a textiles teacher once who used to take photos of shadows like this and then create crochet jackets using the patterns. They're just beautiful. I started reading this book called Originals two days ago by Adam Grant who seems to have been appearing everywhere for me, podcast, TED Talk, so it's a sign that I need to read it. And an original is basically a non-conformist, someone who thinks differently. I finished reading chapter one, Creative Destruction, um, which contains some surprising research about entrepreneurs. We see entrepreneurs as uh, risk takers often, they take big risks, they kind of throw all their dice and risk everything on one thing, but they don't really, they balance their risk portfolios, they're more likely to play safe in another area and take risk in one. The next chapter is about recognising original ideas. Uh, talk about working in the flow of life. I'm sitting here at Adelaide Airport and I forgot to turn on the video at the start of today's webinar so I've just recorded five minutes worth of video here to sew into the rest. Sound quality of course is not perfect but it's perfectly audible so I'm going to run with it. I've got 25 minutes before my flight. I reckon I can get this video edited and uploaded in that time on the airport's Wi-Fi. Looking back from the airport to Adelaide City, you can tell it's not that far away and it's pretty small, that's it, in the whole frame there. You probably can't see, there's a lot of cranes there, there's a lot of building activity going on in Adelaide right now. Well, I managed to get back to Surfers Paradise. Um, it was about a four and a half hour trip, I think, two flights. Um, but funny thing, when I'm sitting there at Adelaide Airport watching this video publish, 
So I literally stood there at the boarding gate watching this video published a file from um, iMovie, counting down the minutes and then the seconds until those boarding gates closed and I only just made it. So I literally was the last person on waiting for that file just to download on my computer, let alone um, publishing it to the social learning platform, but I did get it done. I needed to have a project management meeting with Don Taylor in the UK about the capability map project I'm doing um, for the LPI. Um, problem with working with the UK, it's like there's about an eight, nine, ten hour time difference. Not to worry, I'm enjoying the project and working with Don tremendously um, and really happy to be able to work on something with a global reach. So it's worth it. So very excited about what's happening tomorrow. We're into, I think, week 22 of our travels and we are moving up to Coolum, two hours to the north of where we are now. We have a house for four whole weeks. I don't have to move again for four weeks. It's gonna be great. So time to hit the hay. I'm gonna read my book for a little while and have a good night's sleep.